as it's the Solomons that will come in from the left hand side and from the right is the uh, Tuvalu side number nine there for Tuvalu he must have seen Alapua Petoa he is uh, the all-time highest goal scorer for the Tuvalu side and uh, it's only seven goals though but still it means a lot for the Tuvalu side a lot has come out once they defeated the New Caledonia side as far as Tuvalu is concerned their preparations, their training grounds, uh, the scarcity of the resources. A lot of factors that uh, this Tuvalu side uh, has been facing in uh, trying to build a team for a competitive uh, event like this, the Pacific Mini Games. They have teams like the Solomons, Nicaragua, Fiji, Vanuatu to match up with compete with and they have done a uh, an exceptional job of getting the three points from uh, that uh, New Caledonia match the expectation was that uh, the uh, and here is a chance saved by the goalkeeper as Rickson Mara almost getting it through there Adrian Rickson Mara number 13 for uh, the Solomon Island side Yeah, they come in now with a huge kick up front and the Solomon Islands of uh, the defense there of Richard Hiromana just uh, closing it down and here's Norman Miniti and Henry Faorodo but well covered and taken away Mio Kituilangi drops it up back it comes for the Solomons they will take it across there, Hadis Engari. Manuel Poila. Tutizama Tanito. Still Tutizama on his own, comes to the edge of the box there. And Jeffrey Bulle, chip kick. Looking for uh, Jerry Donga. But he is being flagged down. You can see the Tuvalu coach that came in your picture a while ago as they prepare to take the goal kick. Tuvalu and Tauke Itau Ituaso. Tauke Ituaso. Norman Miniti. Jerry Donga. Back to Norman. Decides to send it across behind for. Uh, the Solomon Islanders to keep it there. Interesting call by the Solomon's head coach, Philip Benga. Philip Benga Arango. They have the evergreen and sensational striker, Benjamin Tutori, sitting on the bench. And Adrian Rickson Mara getting the note ahead of him. Good work done by the Solomon Islanders, Henry Faarodo, and cleared away by the defense. Comes back to the halfway mark there. Solomon's Hiromana. Cherry Donga. Good delivery from him. But. Uh, Offside is uh, Rickson Mara. Adrian Rickson Mara attempt a good run in the middle and tried to make it home, but then before that, the flag had gone up. Here's Bonnie Pride for Jerry Donga. Big kick taken now. Henry Faarodo is going for it, and he slots that into an empty net. A lot of miscommunication there in the uh, Tuvalu defense. And it's Jerry Donga that came in from the right hand side, or he Henry Faarodo rather, and uh, he places it into an empty net. 
with a bit of uh, lapse of concentration in the defensive area. So Solomons with the captain Henry Faarodo scoring the goal. Give them an early lead. There's the man, Henry Faarodo. Leading the side by example. Fele Valoa Taulau Iotonu and Adrian Mara is down in the center circle there you can see him but they're not interested about him they still fight for position There he is. Starting ahead of uh, the veteran Benjamin Totori. And uh, well, a good start that he wanted to, uh, to have in this match. Getting that injury there. Remember, Vanuatu now sits on the top of the table for now with uh, seven points after three matches. And Fiji second after three matches, they have got five points. And uh, Solomons after two matches, so they have a match here that they are playing. And they have to complete this one to see where they stand. But uh, they're doing enough at the moment to uh, take the lead. If they get three points from this match, then Vanuatu and uh, the Solomons. will be uh, finishing the day with the seven points each and Fiji will then be relegated to third with five points the Valu and Nicoladonia have three each and Tonga has nothing at the moment another opportunity here for the Solomon Islanders and they have to kick it outside uh, the defense there of uh, Iotonu. They get the corner kick there. And the delivery, not a good one, as uh, it will be the year. Uh, to Valuans that will get back position. To Valu will try and uh, get something out of this situation. At the moment, it's one nil, first ten minutes, and Solomons have been very much on attack here. Stanley Waita, there he is in your picture. One of the Solomon Internationals. Now as the assistant coach for the Solomon Islands. Hiromana of a Bonnie Pride. Take it on for Norman. And good 10 by the Tuvalu player of Akili Nima Alofa and uh, Solomon they bring it back now going across Norman and finds support that side uh, from Manuel Poila here they continue now to Tizama and he just managed to get it in for Adrian and this is another corner kick that the Solomons will come in with Go short there, Henry Farodo to Tizama. Still looking for the space. But Yonatana, the captain for the Tuvalu side. A 
comes back for Noman. And the switch play from Hadis and Gary. Jeffrey Bulle. At uh, the time, it was uh, Henry. I think it was uh, Cherry Tonga. Yes, here they go again. The Solomon Islanders making those passes and moving in the open space. They turns around and they'll come back now to the other side. There they go. For Henry for Arodo, good flicking pass from him. The captain, Cherry Donga. And uh, Susini Vailini has covered that space well. Crowd still staying back here in Port Vila at the Municipal Stadium to uh, round of uh, match day three, which this match with uh, this match Solomon Islands versus Tuvalu. Probably after that uh, interesting result and the great performance by the Tuvaluans against New Caledonia, it is given. More reason to uh, the fans here to stay back and wait for something surprising again this afternoon. Eddie Singari across field. Manuel Poila to Tizama. There's Emmanuel Poila again. Comes back for Hadi Singari. Here's uh, Hiramana. To the halfway mark. His pony pride and uh, having to do the hard yards there was Farodo. Near Noman. Back it comes on for Richard Hiramana. Here's Bonnie Pride. Taken away but not really able to keep it here. Yeah, they do so. It's a uh, throw in. Kelly Lima Alofa and throw in came in there from Afele Valoa. The photo value, like they conceded eight goals against the Fiji side. In the first match and the second one they won by two one and here they are down by one nil at the moment it's uh, just over the first uh, 15 minutes and the Solomons defeating Tonga eight nil then a nil or draw with Fiji in here they are up by one nil. And a quick ball played there. Racing away is Jeffrey Bulle. Infield pass and the shot. And that's Adrian Rickson Mara that gets the second goal for the uh, Solomon Island side. That's what he was crying all this while. The youngster for this almonds, Adrian. And he slots it home neatly there. The pass came in from the right side. And uh, this is where the delivery was made. Jeffrey Bulle delivered in as number four to Ilangi. Was not able to tidy that one for the uh, Tuvalu side. And that is where the upcoming youngster Adrian Rickson Mara blasted that one home 2 0 in favor of the uh, Solomon Islands at the moment.
Jeffrey Bulle running around doing the hard yards. There is Tutizama. And he plays a good through ball for Adrian again. Adrian Rickson. And uh, he could not quite utilize that one. The Tuvalu will be coming out from that situation with a goal kick. They're down by two goals to nil. Will they face a situation something like what happened in the Fiji game? Or will they do something special just like they did? Maybe something similar or close to it against the, two, uh, the nuclear donor inside these two Valuans. Tonga at the moment has not uh, been able to get a point in this competition. But for them, they have been able to score two goals in the competition in the, the two against New Caledonia. Yes, Henry Farodo and setting the through ball. Nobody really up there. The goalkeeper, Katepu Yosua. There's a free kick coming. Nima Alofa leaves it behind for Tuilangi. Into the box and there's a chance and they put it on. Oh no, they miss it from right in front. What a miss that one is. Even that would have been offside. And that is what the referee has given there. So Sosini, Vailine had a good chance of pulling one back for the Tuvalu side. And injured in the process in trying to get possession there. He is one of the Tuvalu players. There they come in. So that was Marty Uelesi. He tried to tap it in, but the ball just was moving outside and also trying to finish it in was uh, Meuke Tuilangi. No, Tuilangi came with the delivery. It was uh, Petoa, Alopoa Petoa. As injured here is Mati Uelesi. He was the one who tried to tap it in. He's being taken out, but looks okay to come back and uh, continue with the play. As said uh, the goalkeeper for the Solomons, Zentas Cabini. Sets play into uh, the uh, first half here. Just over 20 minutes. Henry for Arodo and the foul coming in from the captain Yonatana. Salmons. Henry for Bonnie Pride. He tries to go to the side and then plays it for Jeffrey Bulle. Almost getting it for Adrian. And it's a corner kick. Comes off uh, the uh, Tuvalu. Desperate defense there. So they have to go across. To deliver from there. Tuti Zama Tanito. You can see the crowd coming in. And some going out. Maybe they had enough of uh, the match here. They didn't meet the expectation and they have thought of moving away. 
to take an early break for the day. This is the third match, the last match for match day three of the men's competition in the 2017 Pacific Mini Games. And a bit of late challenge there on Toti Zama. Okay, Tuilangi was the culprit there. Henry Faroza will come in from the tangle. There he is, number 17, Henry Faroza. The Valons have all the players behind, just around their box area, and that cross. And uh, Eddie Sangari, he went up to eight numbers, but could not quite finish it home. Stovalu will come in with a goal kick now. Okay, Lima Alofa. Brings it up and it's a free kick. There is Stanley Waita in your picture on the left hand side. Very much active and talking. Here's Tuilangi. Huge cross and trying to make it home was Alopoa Petoa. But uh, just the head of Richard Hiromana coming in and changing the di direction of the ball there. Yes, Yonatana, the captain. They managed to hold it on for themselves for a while. They move it around in the uh, Solomon's half. Yonatana heads it back. Again, Yonatana very much stamping his mark in the midfield. And the going back, mistiming header. And finally, putting it outside is Seloto. The throw in to uh, Solomon Islands. Here is Jerry Donga and almost getting it was uh, Tuti Zama. There is Petoa, not really Petoa, that's Sosini Vailini. And to the defense. They're doing. Again, Iotonu. His clearance only as far as Jerry Donga. And he comes in with a quick one, deep one as well, which will end with the goalkeeper of Katepo Yosua. So 2 nil in favor of the Solomon Islands with about 25 minutes gone. Cleared away by Tuilangi. No Tuvalu players there. Finally, chasing for it is Lima Alofa. And keeps possession from the throw in for Tuilangi. That's a huge clearance sending the uh, Solomons back in their own half. Sosini. There it is Henry for Arado. Solomons come upon attack here. Bonnie Pride. Still Bonnie Pride for Arado. Here they come back into their own half. Hero Mana and uh, Hadi Sengari. This is number 15, Norman. And they come in across for Bonnie Pride. Henry Faarodo very much on attack into this match. In the other matches, we saw him playing as the holding midfielder. But this one here, he's playing more of an attacking role. Henry Faarodo.
Yeshua, the goalkeeper. He is still Langi. That's uh, Yetonu, number five. Does well there and keeps uh, the uh, throw in. Uh, they decide it will be Afelia Valoa that will take that uh, throw in. Looking for Yonatana, the captain. Yeah, they make those passes. Cherry Donga does very well, but uh, taken away. And that's a long range drive coming in from Mati Uailesi. Solomon's get it rolling in front of the box. Jerry Donga lets it lose now for Adrian Mara, a bonny pride brother. Parodo, quick throw ball played there. Bonny pride and taken away once again. Bonny pride for the Solomons. Jerry Donga and no man. Emmanuel Poila sets it for Tutizama. Beg it comes on for Emmanuel Poila. Pony Pride. Flex it in for Adrian Mara. He has a lot of space there. This is Jerry Donga. Can they get one more? And the goalkeeper, Katepu. Yoshua is there to collect and deliver for the Tuvalu side. And this is a big kick. Bouncing into the goalkeeper's glove. Zentas Kabini. Just around the first 30 minute mark. And still 2 0. Solomon Islands lead the Tuvalu side. Tutisama sets it on for Adrian. Adrian looked like to be pushed down there. The referee says no. The goalkeeper, Katepu Iosua. So with the completion of match day three, it will be interesting to see Solomon's, the number of goals they're scoring and the points, which at the moment looks like to be three points coming their way. A long, long way to go, though. We have a full 45 minutes remaining there. And just around 15 here. So still one more hour that will decide how many goals and how many points do the Solomons get. Which is highly likely. Or will it be Tufalu pulling up a surprise here at the Municipal Stadium? Yes, Jerry Donga, and that shot is wide from Henry for Arodo. The two Valuans, they allowed them the space to play in front of the box. And Henry for uh, Arodo just thought and tried to have a shot at the opposition goal. And the referee says we'll go for. Uh, the water break. It's just the heat that they are considering here. And ensuring the environment is player friendly. The welfare of the place is paramount uh, to the world governing body of FIFA. And uh, likewise, it goes down to uh, the regional competition here.
Yeah, they are feeling the heat and quenching their thirst. Talking about the whole scenario, what can be done out of this situation as they trail by two goals to nil. Salmons will be seeking for more goals here because uh, when you look at it, the uh, Tuvaluans, they lost to the fellow contenders, the Fiji side by eight goals to nil and the Solomons are in the same situation they were there one against Tonga by eight nil and they drew with the Fiji side which, uh, which is a very very interesting result and uh, that this will mean that they have to get somewhere around the eight goals to be on the safe side as they meet in the next match, the Solomon Islanders against uh, New Caledonia, where again the loser of the, that particular match will for sure drop down from the gold medal contention. While Fiji has Tonga on that morning and uh, to follow Vanuatu so with all due respect to Tonga PG has a chance of getting three points out of that match and maybe some goals Tonga lost to Solomons by 8 nil lost to Vanuatu by 5 nil and next is how they played their match here against New Caledonia and lost by 4-2 This is a shot taken by Jeffrey Bulle and the goalkeeper. Gives it away to uh, the Tuvaluans, but then the Solomons, they regroup their hero mana on for Hadis Engari. Emmanuel Poila. Yes, to Tizama. Goes from the left hand side. Now Henry Faarodo gets the receive there. And uh, it runs out of play. No, not really. It's still in the field of play. Carrying the box. Jerry Donga. Claiming for a penalty there. And it's again more like uh, simulation. And it's Richard Hiramana. And for Bonnie Pride, good through ball played, he kills it in. But then it's Ionatana, the captain forward to Valu. Here's to Ilangi, not Lima Alofa. And Sosini Vailani. Crossfield pass there for the Solomons. Emmanuel Poila. Henry for Arodo now. Tough defense. Faceloto. No man. One for Jerry Donga. As Jerry advances into the box, still there for him. Jerry does a wonderful job and lays it down. The shot comes in. And that's cleared away by the defense for the Tuvalu side. They read it well, they did, did well there. And no man, no man, Miniti. 
Henry Faorodo. Quick flicking pass. Rickson Mara. And comes off there again. And the Solomons. Searching for more goals. Not happening for them. And that's a waste there from Tuti Zama Tanito. Tuti Zama Tanito had a lot of space on his right from inside, could have turned and played for the advancing players there. Adrian Rickson Mara was there. And Henry Faarodo was just behind in an angle, could have laid it in for him, but opted to blast it home and could not quite do so. It's almost six to seven minutes away from half time here. Still 2 0 in favor of the Solomons. Break taken there by Celoto. Headed away. Now it is uh, Henry Farado. He turns and plays it on for Adrian. Lays it out on that side. To Tizama. Huge change of play on for Adrian. Now that is uh, not Adrian. Bonnie Pride. He receives Bonnie. Infield. And off. Tai Tai, the defender forward the Tuvalu side, concedes a corner kick in the process too. Just around five minutes from half time break. Go short and the cross again a wasted effort there. It's a goal kick that uh, Tuvalu has end. And Celoto, the defender, towards the halfway mark, they headed up, cleared away by Paolo Tai Tai. This time the Solomons try and put it deep. Yonatana. Manages to escape from uh, Farodo. A quick through ball played there. And the goalkeeper of Zentas Cabini is right here to collect. Lovely through ball played on for Henry Farodo. And he tried to chip it in. And that is way too high for a chip kick into the goal. It's with the movement of the ball, the momentum. He tried to tap it in over the goalkeeper. It is Sassini Vailine. It's the referee Robinson Banga has a good look at uh, Vailine and he's okay to continue. So the free kick will come in from Yotonu. They go shot here. Afele Valoa. And that's a huge one just on the edge of the box. Clidoui. Now he's in the middle there for the Solomons. Jeffrey Bulli and Adrian. And quick pass. Adrian is flagged down. It was clever. Counter play from the own half. There's a Clidoui the time by Tilangi. So just around the box area. Yeah, the Tuvaluans is tried to, to play some football there. 
but taken away by Tuti Zama. Here Tuti Zama goes on his own to the left hand side and comes in with a switch play. Cherry Tonga. Not fully able to control that one. It's now the Tuvaluans clearing it away. Tuti Zama, will he be able to cross? Not able to do so. And cleared away, so it will be a throw in. The Solomon Islanders, they thought it will be a corner kick that they will end. But then, uh, doing the hard yards there was this man. Tuilangi. Mia Uke Tuilangi. Yeah, nobody wanting that one. Very close to the half-time mark here. The uh, Tuvalu side, uh, Iotonu. Back it goes on for Tuilangi. There was Faloa. Played away by Siloto, Ionatana. And then Afele, Valoa. Neon for Tuilangi. Tuilangi gets the support coming in from ULSI. So that's at least some time that uh, the Tuvalu side has kept possession and made the passes and have moved yards and areas from the own box to uh, the uh, Solomon's box. Yonatana, the captain, comes in tens. But they get the throw in there. Seloto. Actually, Seloto is a Solomons. Hadis Angari. And Hiromana. Abit comes towards the halfway mark. Henry Faorodo setting it up on for. Uh, that is Bonnie Pride and uh, Handball. So the Solomons will try and get at least one more before the halftime break. 2 0 is the scoreline for now. They go short there and the cross into the box. Out of play for a goal kick to the Tuvalu side. Tuvalu, remember, sitting on three points. Solomon's at the moment is four. Fiji sitting with five. And Vanuatu is sitting with seven, while Tonga has zero. Tuti Zamatanito gets in the box there, gains a lot of uh, space and the shot. And that's one of the easiest ones there. As uh, the shot came in from this man, Jeffrey Bulle. What a goal that was, a shot from right in front, point blank range shot. And Jeffrey Bulle gives the third goal to the uh, to Valu side. That uh, for the Solomons, rather, my apologies. But that will put Tuvalu into a test scenario. Here it is, and the defense watching him play. And that is what he wanted coming in and chipping it into the roof of the net. And uh, that's uh, the Solomons contingent very much here supporting uh, the uh, men's team. Leading Tuvalu by three goals to nil. Again, the Solomon Stutizama. He comes in sliding. Three minutes of added time is what has been shown here. Minimum of three minutes. And they bring it across, Henry for Arado. One for Jeffrey, Jerry Donga, rather. 
and that will be an offside kick. So just around a couple of minutes remains here in the first half and it's the Solomons. They lead by three goals to nil. Boni Pride, one for Noman, a cross field. Manuel Poila, Tutizama. Yeah, it is Jeffrey Bule. Jeffrey, oh, he loses the footing there. The foul wants to well. And the foul coming in from him as well. So it will be a free kick uh, to uh, the Tuvalu side. Inside the own half, though. Tizama once again it keeps on creating problems for this Tuvalu side and uh, he's the one who's doing the damage to that side As here is Bonnie Pride Jerry Donga pushing back Noman Miniti yeah he's Noman Miniti plays it on for Henry Farodo and Henry not getting the space. It will be a free kick to the Tuvalu side. Referee says Henry fouled the defender. Calamelu Celoto. Celoto is okay. Somebody else is down on the field as the call for the medics. It was Taulau Iotonu. Taulau Iotonu needs medical attention here as uh, Solomon's the lead by three goals to nil. That was the earlier goal that came in. Wonderful shot, powerful one. Goalkeeper could not quite do so in terms of anything there. The goal kick comes in and the referee says no more time here in this match. We have to go for the break, half-time break. And at half-time, it's the Solomons led by Henry Faarodo.